Well, hit pause and read the problem through. When I have a problem like this, I always draw the diagram. I have a battery with an EMF. There's an internal resistance. I draw that in series, little r. And there's my terminals. Now I am asked to find what is the terminal voltage. And there is a formula. And this formula is the terminal voltage. That's the voltage between points A and B when a current flows through that battery. And there's an internal resistance. It equals E, the EMF, minus the potential drop through the battery, I times R. Well, E is given to me. There it is. It is a 12-volt battery. That's what it's rated as. That is the EMF. Minus, well, there's the current, 3, and the internal resistance. I simply pull out a calculator and do a very simple calculation. And the terminal voltage, 11.3 volts. Let's try sample problem two. Hit pause, read it through. Once again, I always draw this diagram. And they want me to find, it says internal resistance. I have a current that goes through, and that's two amps. I'll make a note of that. When that current of two amps goes through, there's a terminal voltage of seven. And now they want the internal resistance, okay? Once again, I will write out the formula. The terminal voltage equals E minus I R. They want R. So I solve for R in this equation. There's R. Now let me bring this term I times R to the other side just to make it positive. I much prefer to deal with it that way. So that equals E minus, well, I'll bring VAB to the other side, the terminal voltage. Now I'll divide both sides by I. I'll get rid of that I. And I'll divide all of that by I. And the I is gone. And there's what I need for the internal resistance. So now I put the numbers in, and they're all found in that question. E is 9 volts. Uh, the uh, VAB is 7. That's the terminal voltage. And there's the current of 2. And you can look at this and do it in your head. 9 minus 7 is 2, and you get 1 ohm.